Hi, it's January the 15th and it's cold in Pennsylvania. It's below freezing. It's about 28 degrees this morning. Last night it was down to 12 degrees. We have a little bit of snow that fell, not as much as normal, but I wanted to talk about weeds that grow in the winter. And it's hard to believe, but they are called winter annuals and that means they sow their seeds, the seeds sprout in the fall, and they start to grow in the fall, the winter, and the spring, put out new seeds, and they'll start all over again with new plants. The key is to get the, the weed out of your garden before they seed. And this is a picture, if you could come over and zoom in, this is one of the winter annuals called hairy bittercress. And although the, the ground's frozen, if you can cut it off at the root, it won't re-sprout. So you could go outdoors and every day find a few of these. See how pretty and green it is? It's growing. You probably, if it's edible, you probably could eat it. I really don't know if it's edible. It is a cress, like a water cress. These weeds are magical, aren't they? What you see in this border is where one plant probably went to seed. It popped and it caused all these new ones to grow right along the border. Can't believe it's 30, less than 32 degrees out. And there's all different sizes that in different stages of development. So it's important in a no-till garden scenario, we don't dig up the soil, we don't turn it over. So the most important thing you can do is eliminate these weeds before they sprout new seeds. We are in my no-till vegetable garden at this point, and I have been um, working hard to have uh, no weeds or as little weeds as possible. So one of the things I did was I planted a ground cover um, on the beds I have permanent beds and permanent paths. So this is a ground cover called oats and it grew green in, in the fall. Now the winter has killed it and it's making a great ground cover, which of course we all know mulch is a good way to keep weeds from sprouting. So this is a good way in your vegetable garden to help eliminate weeds. And I came down to my garden to try and find some of those winter annual weeds and I I'm not having any luck. So that's a good thing. Less work for me, but the flower beds have most of it. So let's go and look at the backyard where my husband's trains are laid out and we'll see what we can find. Yes, kitty, you can come with us. Come along. We're in the backyard of my home. And as you can see, my husband has a train layout and it does go throughout the backyard. So on the bank, again, my goal is to have as few weeds as possible. And I'm going to point out here again, that winter annual hairy bittercress. They like to find these little crevices along stones, along um, any decorative item you may have, trees. They like to nestle themselves in among your plants. But again, they're fairly simple to get out at this time of the year. Probably could find, yes, this one actually has a flower starting to form on it. So I'm gonna show you that. There's a little white speck, which is a flower head. And of course, that means there'll be seeds, which means, yes, more weeds so while you're in the house keeping warm out of the cold the weeds are still doing their thing happy hunting